Treasurer, while you've been in Washington pursuing extra good cheap funding support, some back in Port Moresby have accused your supplementary budget as being illegal. Was your supplementary budget illegal? Did they really say this? Who could be so silly to suggest that the lawmakers of the proud nation of Papua New Guinea would allow an illegal budget to be passed? Laws that were worded nearly identical, nearly identically to all of our previous budgets. Words that were cleared by Parliament's first legislative council. Who made this silly accusation, may I ask? Uh, the, the Leader of the Opposition. <laughs> well, of course, uh, my friend, uh, the Leader of the Opposition, uh, is, is renowned and is well known for shooting from the hip before understanding, well, all of the facts. Could I respectfully suggest that the Honourable Leader of the Opposition first talk to a constitutional lawyer, a good lawyer familiar with the ways PNG budgets are written, in ways to conform with the specific language of our Constitution and, of course, our Public Finance Management Act before he starts undermining his own reputation by making such, well, foolish allegations. A word of humble advice to my brother, the opposition leader. Your vital role in Parliament is based on being a credible opposition. In my previous work as Shadow Treasurer, as you're well aware, I backed my questions with facts and of course understanding the law that helped, me, that helped make me credible. My advice, make sure you check false accusation with the facts before running away on wild emotions.